Unit 9. All kinds of people. Unit 9. Pages 74 and 75. Look and listen. What's at the movies? It might be the latest thriller. Who do you think is in the limo? It may be a celebrity. Do you think he has mango juice? He might have it. My impressions of the city. A tour guide took us around the city. She was very talkative. She gave us a lot of information about the city's buildings. The people in the city are always moving fast. They don't seem very polite. For example, we saw a white limo that was very long. It was blocking the intersection while people were trying to cross the street. I think that the driver was rude. There's a lot of crime in the city. We even saw a thief who was very clever. He was taking a picture of some tourists when suddenly he ran away with their camera. We saw a man who was selling gold watches for $10. He was very persuasive. Some people actually bought watches from him. Of course, some people were friendly. A police officer who was on horseback allowed some children to pet her horse. Many people are hardworking. I saw a woman who sold hot dogs on the street. She had to make the hot dogs and give change all very quickly. She was very efficient. And there was some fun. A boy was dancing while a group of street musicians was playing. And many people were standing in line to see a movie that had some big movie stars. I was just watching while all these things were happening around me. I'm glad I live in a small town. Unit 9, page 75, part 2, pair work. A. Ask and answer about the picture. Ask about things that may, might happen. What kind of juice might you be able to buy at the juice stand? You might be able to buy papaya or strawberry. Who may the tall, elegant woman be? She may be a model. B. Identify people, things, and animals from the picture. You say part of the sentence, and your partner completes it. The woman who was selling hot dogs was very busy. C. Ask and answer about activities in the picture. What was the boy doing while the group was playing? He was dancing. Unit 9, page 78, part 4, listening. A. Listen. Look at the picture. Mark who said what. 1. The party has just begun. I'm waiting for you. 2. We have to leave early. Thanks for the wonderful party. 3. Now smile, everyone. Say cheese. 4. What a beautiful dress. Who is the designer? 5. I think this painter has a lot of potential. 6. Would you like to try one of these? 7. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. 8. I might have a position for you in our company. B. Listen to the clues on the tape. Write who you think says the statement. Compare your answers in small groups. Example. What a beautiful dress. You. It might or may be the woman in green. 1. The address is 201 Park Place. 2. I may take your offer. It sounds like a good company. 3. Could you please get closer to one another? 4. I don't like the style. The colors are too strong. 5. You're very kind. Unit 9, page 78, part 5, pronunciation. Listen and practice. Note the stress on these adjectives.
elegant, generous, talkative, persuasive, efficient, reliable, energetic, emotional. Unit 9, page 79, part 7, conversation. Oh, I feel so proud to be a guest at the charity ball. Do you know any of the celebrities here? Of course, I know many of them. The elegant woman who was standing at the door when we came in is Dora Lane. Isn't she the woman who made a fortune with her cookie recipe in stores? Yes, that's right. And that's Guy Chappelle, the French fashion designer. I met him while I was modeling in Paris. I want you to introduce me to him. Do you think he'll recognize you? He might. Who's that man in black? The one who is dancing with that attractive woman? That's Chen Li, the movie director. He's the one who made the Dragon Dynasty. The woman might be the star of his new movie. And who's that good-looking guy over there? The one without a tie? That's Ricardo Avia. He's silly, rude, uninteresting, unreliable, un... How do you know that? I went out with him a few times. Unit 9, page 80, part 9. Reading. People who made a big difference in a small way. Pick up a newspaper and you'll read about charitable organizations that help victims of earthquakes and wars or about celebrities who make big donations to charity. These are important, of course, but sometimes the media seem to ignore ordinary people who help on a smaller scale. Here is the story of two people who helped with simple ideas. Mohammed Yunus. Mohammed Yunus, a professor from Bangladesh, has helped many people with his bank. When he was working as a teacher of economics, he thought of a simple concept, microcredit. The idea is to lend small amounts of money to the poor. They can use the money to help themselves. Many use the money to start small businesses. For example, a widow might borrow just 30 to $100. She spends the money to buy cotton. She then weaves the cotton into cloth and sells the cloth. She earns enough money to make a living for herself and her family, and enough money to pay back the loan. Eunice started the Grameen Bank in the mid-1970s. Since then, the bank has loaned out almost a billion dollars, and now it lends to 1.6 million micro-entrepreneurs. Small amounts of money with a big result on the lives of many. And the man who started all this only earns $240 a month. Nancy Lublin Nancy Lublin was studying to be a lawyer when one day she received an inheritance that changed her life and the life of others. The money was from her great-grandfather, and it wasn't for a large amount, just $5,000. Lublin immediately decided to use the money to help others. And while she was riding up the elevator to her apartment with the $5,000 check, she got the idea. She started a program that gave poor women nice clothes for job interviews. Nancy Lublin has helped thousands of people since she opened Dress for Success New York in 1997. In a church basement, she has set up racks of clothing, suits, dresses, skirts, and blouses. Individuals, clothing companies, and large stores give Lublin the clothing. Charitable organizations send poor women who are looking for jobs to Lublin's basement. There, the women look for clothes that look good on them, and they wear them on their job interviews. When women get jobs, Dress for Success gives them another whole new outfit for work. Lublin says that the new clothes give the women new confidence. She says that she has seen women look at themselves in their new clothes and say, Wow, I'm going back to college. Again, a small idea with big results. End of Unit 9. Expansion 3. Reading. Page 82. Part 1. The Computer Plays Cupid. 
For centuries, people have arranged meetings for matrimonial purposes. Kings and queens and the nobility of the past and present all know that they need to find the right spouse. Marriages of convenience among the elite have occurred for centuries. But what about the ordinary person? In some cultures, parents still arrange their children's marriages. Families promise their sons and daughters to one another at very early ages. Marriage remains a union of two families. In other cultures, the family still plays an important role in marriages. For example, in Japan, families sometimes arrange introductions for their children. They ask among their friends and relatives about eligible partners, and they arrange a meeting between the couple. However, the two young people make their own choice, and they decide if they want to date. In many cultures, couples meet independently, and they do not depend on family to find their mate. According to surveys, men tend to look for physical attractiveness, sociability, affection, ability in the home and workplace, and sensitivity in a partner. Women look for economic stability, achievements, leadership, job skills, sense of humor, and intelligence. Recently, computers have helped people in their search for a partner. All over the world, computer-assisted dating has become a very good business. Some people think that marriage agencies are easy and convenient. They can help quickly match up people who have similar interests and may be a good couple. For a modest fee, you can use the services of an agency. You give your personal data, together with your likes and dislikes. The agency enters the information into a computer program that produces a list of persons who might be a good match for you. If you want to spend more money, the agency will make a video in which you talk about yourself and the kind of person you would like to meet. The video is put on a computer, and candidates can choose their partners from a computer screen. If you have your own PC, you can have access to the system via a modem. For an extra fee, you'll be able to see the images of potential future partners in the comfort of your home. And if all goes well, you may watch your wedding ceremony on video with your new spouse.